Rick Roden, uh, part owner at Roden Echo Valley LLC in West Bend, Wisconsin. Partners here with my parents. We're 50-50 on the farm. We milk about 700 cows right now. Uh, we have a crossbreeding program with Holstein, Montbilliard, and Swedish Red. We moved here in 95. Prior to that, my dad, we originate from the Sockville area, so not too far from here. Um, but, but moved here in 95 and have kind of started here with 70 cows and have continuously grown since. Uh, I graduated high school in 02. The following year in April of 03 was when I uh, started buying into the farm and becoming partners with my parents on the farm. And today, yeah, we're 50-50 and, and looking to grow some more. So I rode in Echo Valley here. We also do a egg tourism business. I have four younger sisters. My youngest sister, Jackie, she does road and barnyard adventures, There's egg tourism business. So all summer long, she's been doing day camps, five days a week uh, from beginning of June up until right now, uh, middle of August here. She does anything from the day camps to birthday parties to YMCA, 4-H, Girl Scout, Cub Scout, all sorts of groups. Uh, farm tours and just to educate the people about where their food comes from that it just doesn't show up on the grocery store magically milk is made from the cow ice cream cheese you know it, it's all produced right here and it starts right here on the dairy farm so I like the activity system so we, we started with the heat seeker tags 10 years ago with Bomatic the decision then was maybe we can get track our activity on our cows for our health and our heats instead of hiring a full-time herdsman so the, the goal is to kind of utilize the, the activity for breedings so that I can still do the hands-on uh, herdsman work and not hire that full-time guy to be out there all the time. We believe that the activity, you're gonna get all of the information where the naked eye, maybe you're gonna miss stuff or look over some stuff once in a while. So that, that was the main reason 10 years ago we, bought, we got into the activity. Um, the reason that we upgraded today was in the old system we only had activity. We were only really looking for heats. Now we can track ruminations, heats, low activities. We put the collars on all the cows now where I, in the past I just had them on, on the breeding cows and now I have them on all the cows looking for any sort of a health issue or heats. So we decided to stick with Bomatic. We've had their system in the past. That's proven itself to me. That system was, was 10 years old and, and still nothing wrong with it. We, I would probably use it, continue to use it. But we just wanted to get um, the latest stuff, the latest version of what they, they had to offer and, and have more information about our cows handed to us. So we knew it worked in the past. We're looking forward to it working in the future. We have a, a Bomatic parlor currently and we just want to kind of stick with one system and not have to work with three or four different companies to get the information that we want out of our cows. So today we're very satisfied with the Bomatic system. We're kind of pretty new into it yet, but I just had my first herd check um, Wednesday, actually, a couple days ago, and that was the first herd check that we did that all of the cows were bred off of the collars. And we had 41 out of 48 pregnant, so I say that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good herd check so I'm happy about that but no it, it's been working very well so far I like the collars over the leg bands uh, for the simple fact of that I can reuse the collars we had the leg bands in the past and we'd always be switching them from cow to cow you have to cut that leg band off and you can't reuse that the actual band anymore that was a, a big cost to us that was one of the triggering factors of going to these collars is that a we can put them on every single cow and I can reuse the collar year in and year out, so I'm not gonna have an expense, you know, year in and year out of uh, buying leg bands anymore. So here we use PC Dart. We've had PC Dart forever. I will probably forever use them. I like their system very well. All my data goes into PC Dart. Uh, the breedings, fresh dates, uh, any vaccines, everything goes into PC Dart. And PC Dart and Bomatic, they talk to each other very well. So any information that I got on PC Dart, is getting thrown over to, to the Bomatic side and, and I can utilize that information, information that way. Um, I also use the PC Dart, the pocket dairy on my phone. Um, that's where if I'm out in the barn looking for uh, maybe cows to pull in the maternity pen or cows at voluntary waiting periods, I can just pull it up on my phone and see that very easily. And then I can also compare it on the app. You know, if, if the cows in heat or health suspicious cows the Bomatic app on my phone, I can kind of compare both ways 
on the phone uh, to see what cows need what needs. So we had to completely abandon the old system to install a new system. I would say you wanted to get a good week's worth of data before you started breeding or really looking at any reports on the new system. So we kind of had a week leg there where we kind of had to vis visually do cows, breed them, look at them a little more. But after that week, you kind of got some good information. I would say after two, three, four weeks, the information got even better and got a really pinpointed once you established a good average throughout the herd. So, but after one week, we, we were breeding and utilizing the system already. So being that, you know, we're milking about 700 cows, I'm still kind of the guy in charge of the cows or the herdsman, I guess you would say. We don't have a full-time herdsman on staff here. So I'm on a computer just about every morning looking at different reports, mostly the health suspicious reports. Um, we hire a breeder, Randy, he comes in every afternoon and he goes up to the computer and looks at all the heat, any cows that are in heat, gets his list up there and then we'll go out to the barn and breed those cows. So pretty much just the two of us are the ones looking at the computer every day. As far as training anybody else to do it, it it's pretty user friendly, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not real computer savvy myself. If I can figure it out, I think pretty much anybody can, but it's just, Honestly, it's just a matter of just getting on a computer and not being afraid to hit buttons. Just playing with it and familiarizing yourself with it. Um, that's all it takes. You just got to play with it for a while and, and get, get comfortable with it and realize what everything means. So every morning, first thing I do when I get here, um, well, obviously I check maternity pen for calves. I and mean, then the second thing I do is go up to the office and kind of check in on the Bomatic system to see if there's any health alerts, any heats, and just kind of know that it's all working. If there's any cows showing up on the, on the health suspicious, that's what I'll go out to the barn and kind of, what does she look like? Is she sore foot? Is she sick? Is she whatever it may be. That's when I take that list and kind of find those cows and figure out what I need to do with them and kind of make my decision of what's going to happen with her next. After that, once feeding and everything is done here, which my dad does the feeding every morning, I kind of take care of the cows. I can be anywhere else from, depending on the season, planting corn, chopping hay, harvesting. Like I'm, I might not be here until seven, eight, nine o'clock at night again, but I know that my cows are being watched because of the activity system that we have. And if something does come up, I'll get the app through my phone that maybe I can have one of my employees go check on a cow if there's something suspicious. Like when I look at the health reports every morning, I think we're definitely finding some cows, whether it's uh, some sore feet or if she's uh, like a fresh cow that's maybe off feed, maybe it's a, a bad uterus or just something off on her. Currently, we are milking in a, a 50 year old double eight herringbone parlor. In the future going forward, we've been looking a lot into robots and rotaries and haven't 100% made up our mind yet. But we're gonna, in the future, we're gonna do some sort of a new milking system that we would like to be able to utilize these collars in with our new milking facility someday. We're looking to possibly expand the herd some more, maybe get up to that 1,000 to 1,200 mark. Right now we're at 700, and we're, we have all the young stock to be able to do that within the next couple of years to kind of going forward. So we, we built a cross vent barn. It'll be five years ago in January that we moved into that. The plan is to continue to add on to our cross vent barn and put some sort of a milking center up there to uh, accommodate some more cows.